Imperialism in Japan. Matthew Perry. Starting in 1603, the Tokugawa shogunate closed its doors to the outside world. Japan remained largely isolated for more than 200 years. In 1853, Commodore Matthew Perry of the United States sailed into Tokyo Harbor and demanded trade concessions from the Japanese. The Japanese decided that the best course of action was to agree to Western demands for trade and then began to modernize, modernize their nation as quickly as possible. The Treaty of Kanagawa, 1853, granted the United States trading rights to two ports. The Meiji Restoration During the Tokugawa era, 1603 to 1868, the shogun was the most powerful figure in the government. Although the position of emperor was technically higher than the shogun, the emperor served a largely ceremonial role in the Japanese government. Many Japanese were angry with the shogun for giving in to the Westerners, and they turned to the emperor for leadership. The shogun stepped down, and in 1868, the young emperor, Muchitu, took control. He called his rule Mihai, meaning enlightened rule. The Mihai period of Jap Japanese history, 1868 through 1912, was one of the most dynamic in history as the emperor was determined to modernize Japan politically, economically, and socially. Modernization. The Japanese began to scour the globe for the best of Western ways and then adapted those ways to their culture, selective borrowing. They also invited Western experts to come to Japan and offer advice on how to best modernize. From the Germans, they borrowed their idea of a strong central government and a disciplined army. From the British, they adopted naval technology, and from the United States, they adopted a system of universal public education. Although Japan had been isolated with no mechanized industry until 1868, the government actively promoted both traditional silk and tea and modern steel industries. As a result, the Japanese built their first railroad line in 1872, and by 1914, they had more than 7,000 miles of railroad. Results? Japanese rapid industrialization was even more impressive because Japan was not blessed with a lot of industrial raw materials, like coal, iron ore, or petroleum. They had to trade for almost everything. As a result of this, Japan would become an imperialist nation just like the Westerners. Also, the Japanese were anxious, anxious to prove their equality with Westerners. They believed their fellow Asians were weak and were anxious to be seen as modern and Western, and this led to military aggression and subsequent wars with China, Russia, and Korea.